This was a movie, a truly cinematic experience in the Big Ten Women's Basketball Tournament Final here from the Target Center in Minneapolis. Just when you think that Nebraska had the upper hand, they came out hot just like the Michigan Wolverines did in the semifinals here in this building, but how Iowa was able to quickly respond and then for every Iowa response, every Iowa run, when the Hawkeyes crowd all of the 15 to 20,000, all of the black and gold faithful within this building got hyped, Nebraska always found a way to hang around. Nebraska always found a way to have a counter punch throughout this one. But the way Caitlin Clark was able to step up when early in the first half, even kind of past halftime a little bit, you look up at the scoreboard, she's got nine points, 10 points, something like that. And then all of a sudden you look up at the scoreboard and she's 30 plus at the end of the evening. A Kobe Jordan type of performance late and how she was able to put the team on her shoulders and will this team to their third consecutive Big Ten tournament title. Our first half were just very out of sorts in all sorts of ways, whether it was on defense, whether it was offensively. Um, but we just found a way to win, and I think that just speaks to the team that we have, the maturity that we have on this group. You know, we were down six or seven. I don't remember exactly what it was with two minutes to play, and you know, we just never gave up. Um, and that's what I'm probably the most proud of is we found a different way to win. And um, once we got into overtime, we kind of knew you just go and take it now. If this is my last time playing in a Big Ten game between two Big Ten teams, then. Um, what better way to end it all? I mean, at halftime, we said, hey, we're down 11. We were up 12 at their place. You know, we went back to the opposite, you know, to their place, and they came back and got us. So let's do it to them this time. Um, so I think anytime you can draw upon past experiences, especially favorable ones, um, it, it definitely builds your confidence. I would be absolutely remiss if I didn't give the Nebraska Cornhuskers a ton of credit. What Amy Williams has been able to do from the head coaching spot. And then you look at, of course, Jazz Shelley, we mentioned her, but Natalie Potts stepped up big. Of course, Alexis Markowski, once again, having a really big game, a lot more balanced score. And you had 30 points from Shelley leading the way in the semifinal, a lot more balanced scoring towards the top of the box score for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. I thought their game plan defensively on the perimeter pressuring Iowa's guards around the three-point arc, forcing them to break it down, which we know they can do that. But it was Nebraska's perimeter defensive game plan that kind of led to what they were able to do throughout this one. And, hey, you got to hit shots. And that's exactly what happened. Now, Iowa didn't make shots kind of during that first half, and we all know what happened in the second half. But this Cornhusker team will be a force to be reckoned with in the NCAA tournament. I mean, we played – four games in an overtime and I'm pretty sure we could go out and play another quarter if we wanted to I think that's something that's going to be super important in the postseason and just to continue that belief that we have in each other that we can now make a deep run in the NCAA and um, set ourselves up really well. We've been preaching response, response, response. How do you respond when things go good? How do you respond when things go bad? How do you respond when there's adversity that comes through a season? How do you respond when there's adversity that comes through a game? And um, I'm just so proud of the way that they have responded. I thought they did. Um, they, they shut out the, um, the noise, the, the outside noise, and just were able to lock in. And, and every single time it felt like we had an answer and, and we're at answering r runs. And I think um, that just shows their commitment to wanting to have a positive response. We're just fighters. Um, you know, they'll go on a run and we just come back. Um, I don't know. We just are playing really well together. People are stepping up, making huge plays for each other, and um, I wouldn't want to be a part of any other program. Last couple of years, I've been coming to this building for Big Ten Media Days, both on the women's side and the men's side, and you hear it at the beginning of the season, before these teams play a scrimmage, before these teams play a game, the Big Ten is a grind. And you got to think Iowa, whether get, they get the number one seed or not, they haven't been a number one seed in this tournament since 1992. I don't think it really matters. But the grind that they went through specifically in this game against the Nebraska Cornhuskers, I believe is going to benefit Iowa going into the NCAA tournament. And we know just how motivated this team is going to be. They tasted it last year. 
losing to LSU and that final four experience. Now, this could be this group's turn to take it home and win a national championship. What an unbelievable experience. The atmosphere in here was maybe the best that I've ever been a part of. Truly unbelievable. Good luck to the Iowa Hawkeyes, Nebraska Cornhuskers, and the rest of the Big Ten teams in the NCAA tournaments.